Hi guys and welcome to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make fast simple homemade meals that you can make in advance, store in your freezer and use whenever you want. And today look what's in my kitchen! Oh mummy Jojo is back! Well I'm on the farm for the first time, it's so good to be here! I know, so we filmed last time from your kitchen. Oh so fun! And um, which was great fun and I managed to get um, Jojo down to the middle of nowhere oh, where I live. How long here. did it take you? Oh to get here. I'm quite a slow driver. A couple of She's hours. A very slow driver. I'm a safe, I play it safe guys, alright? These no, ones are I went out to meet her. She's a very slow driver. Anyway, moving on. So today we are showing you one of the things that I get asked all the time is about baked potatoes. And the reason I want to show you this is because Joe Jo, since you've started to become really busy, you've oh got your podcast days. coming out, you've got yes. your book coming out, two uh -huh. young kids who are uh -huh. what age? So Bonnie is five and Charlie's three, so I have Charlie's got my three. hands freaking full guys, honestly. And you have started to eat a lot of baked potatoes, haven't they you? They have been a godsend the past month because yeah. I've realised, you know, they're just quick and easy and, and healthy. Yep, and they're cheap, so yeah. they're perfect. Okay, so I just want to show you how very quickly is the best way, I would say, to make a baked potato, save you time and money, and also how long you can keep it in the fridge for, whether you can freeze it or not, all the questions that I've been getting asked over the last few weeks. Okay. So, you want to take your baked potato, I'm gonna do one of these and let you do the other one. Okay. And you just want to cross it with a sharp knife. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do the other three. Just a little baby one, so this would be Charlie's one, little bobo. And I like to put them in a glass bowl or something like that. Now this is the only time I ever use cling film in a microwave. Um, if you do the other two. Okay. I've never done them, I never use cling film for anything, wouldn't usually put it in a microwave. This was Jamie Oliver, I think, made, came up with this suggestion and I followed him for a long time ago Love doing this. Jamie. And um, and he made this and it was perfect. Right. Yeah, by the way. Okay, crisscross. Almost as slow as you make it. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, and what you have to do following the Jamie Oliver technique, if I had the cling film round the right way. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. Off. Hold on. Is you want to cling film it, mm -hmm. double. That knife over here. And then you're going to put that in the microwave. And for four baked potatoes, you're probably going to need about 15 minutes in the microwave. Okay. Okay, so that goes into the microwave. Mm -hmm. When it comes out of the microwave, it's going to have a big dome on it. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do is, as you put this in the microwave, in your oven, you want to put some olive oil oh, free on pour, baby. a tray. Yeah, mm -hmm. you want to put some salt. Now, you actually want quite a lot of salt, even yeah. if it's for the kids, because what the salt does... I use a bit of both. What the salt does is it actually just crisps up the skin. You're not coating the whole of the potato in it. Yeah, right and it's okay. gonna make it heat hotter. Mm -hmm. So as that's in the microwave, you want to put this in your oven. I need okay. that oven, by the way. I would like that oven. And uh, yes, it's a, it's a good oven. Right, so you put that in. You want to wait till that's smoking hot. Mm -hmm. These oh, come out. It. 15 minutes later, they are cooked, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be like a dome like this and you're gonna very carefully pull it off because there's gonna be a lot of hot steam that comes out of this, yeah. okay? You're gonna pull it off and you're going to, with oven gloves, yeah. very carefully take Let's your see. oil out and throw in your baked potatoes. Give it a shake so you coat them mm -hmm. and what you will be left with is these. Oh, these. See, the skin is so nice. They look so satisfying. So I'm going to bring them over. Yeah, show people we'll those see. puppies. They smell amazing okay. as well. So you're going to end up with proper baked potatoes. Mm -hmm. Now, they'll only take 15 minutes to crisp in your oven. Mm -hmm. So 15 minutes in the microwave, 15 minutes in a high oven. Mm -hmm. Then you've not got your oven on for hours, so it's going to save you some money. Frugal Hubs will be delighted. You're not going to think about it for a long time. Um, because you're just going to throw them in mm -hmm. and sort of forget about them rather than taking hours. Now, when they come out, you want to let them completely cool. Okay. Okay, so just leave them like that to completely mm -hmm. cool. When they're cool, you can now just get, let me just grab one slightly off camera. Mm -hmm. A freezeable syllable. I can remember, I could never oh, say it. And I can love, now say it. We love the bags. It's, it's, it's a freezer bag. Mm -hmm. And you can put them in your freezer bag. Mm -hmm. Baked potatoes, not many people know this, baked potatoes will last between five and seven days in a fridge. You can't leave them out. Okay. But when they're cooked and they're stored in the fridge correctly, uh -huh. they will last between five and seven days. You can take uh -huh. them out, microwave them, or if you want, simply throw them back in the oven for 10 minutes. Uh -huh. They'll crisp back up again and you'll have the perfect baked potato. I didn't know that. So what I will always suggest is, Sunday lunch, you put a roast chicken in, uh -huh. use the oven space, make a whole host of baked potatoes. I also do sweet potatoes exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Store them like this, and if you're going to work, you can take one out and have it in your lunch, 
or you can give it to the kids for their lunch or you can have it as part of your evening meal but you don't have to think about the potatoes. Great. Sound good? Uh -huh, sounds ideal. Going to give it a go? Defo. I want to hear about this in your podcast that you've yeah. actually done it. Guys, this is how you do very easy baked potatoes, okay? The only thing you don't want to do is ever wrap them in foil. Right. People try to wrap them in foil and put them in the fridge. You really shouldn't put them in foil in the fridge. Okay. Um, numerous different reasons why, but you want to make sure that they're in a sealed bag and that they are cool before they go in the fridge. You'll have baked potatoes for the whole week. A very good top tip. Perfect. Sound good? Thank you. Thank you for coming with me. Bye.